And from Capitol Hill to Silicon Valley, more people across the country are sharing their stories of sexual assault and harassment as part of the Me Too movement. Yeah, in the male-dominated field of tech, many women are reluctant to speak out. ABC 7 News reporter Chris Wynn shows you uh, what appears to be changing. It's no secret who dominates the world of tech. From executive roles to controlling which startups are funded, men can make it more difficult for women to break into the field. I've had investors that come in and after I talk to them, they'll ask me, well, are you and your co-founder dating? Or are you, um, you know, dating anyone on your team? But they don't ask that to my co-founder or to my other friends who are teams of males. Through the years, a number of women in tech have kept quiet about being sexually harassed, fearing that speaking out could keep their companies from raising money. According to the data firm PitchBook, female entrepreneurs received just one and a half billion dollars in funding last year, compared to nearly 58 billion for men. But recently, more women have been sharing their stories. He was like kind of cornering me into a railing and I'm sitting there like kind of laughing along with it and leaning back and leaning back. These experiences aren't uncommon. I haven't met one female founder who hasn't experienced either sexual harassment or discrimination based on her gender. Five years ago, investor Ellen Powell made headlines after filing a gender bias lawsuit against one of Silicon Valley's most revered venture capital firms. She lost in the courtroom, but some say she succeeded in helping to change the conversation about acceptable behavior in the workplace. There's women that are standing up and speaking out, and I think that is causing this shift that hopefully will continue as the years go by. The push for equality, more important than ever. In San Francisco, Chris Wynn, ABC 7 News.